Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 10 minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is, is briefly made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about otitis external. There are two sections in this chapter. The first one is acute externa regarding to the ear canal and the malignant is concerned with the temporal bone. Here's the ear canal. Otitis externa of the ear canal is also called swimmer's ear. Water is trapped inside the ear canal causing bacterial infection. With itchings, smelling pain and pure. Infection of the outer external air canal. The most important bacteria that cause this is a Pseudomonas aerogenosa. Uh, think also about cystic fibrosis. Other bacteria are proteus, staphylosis, and E. coli. Maybe sometime it's a fungal etiology and need a special uh, culture. Among symptoms is ear pain and swelling. Otoscope exam shows a swelling redness and pus. Treatment involves antibiotic. Ear drop may be sufficient. We use uh, ciprofloxacin, like, uh, for example, and we add uh, some topical steroid like hydrocortisone. Let's move to malignant ot otitis externa. It manifests often by, uh, like osteomyelitis of the temporal bone. Predisposed persons are elderly, diabetes, and immunocompromised persons. It's the same bacteria that cause uh, uh, malignant uh, otitis. Uh, it's uh, Pseudomonas aerogenosa. Aerino there is uh, ear pain, full smelling discharge. Under the floor of the middle ear, there is a jugular fossa and internal jugular vein with three main nerves, the glossopharyngeal nerve, the vagus nerve, and the accessory. The glossopharyngeal nerve gives the tympanic nerve to the middle ear. In malignant otitis, this nerve could be affected. To evaluate the glossopharyngeal nerve and the vagus nerve, we do the gag reflex or pharyngeal reflex. If vagus nerve is damaged, if you move to the opposite side, diagnostic, we do a CT scan of the temporal bone with culture. We make a biopsy of the ear canal and we use intravenous antibiotic as a treatment like fluoroquinolone ciprofloxacin. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to put the like button, subscribe, and your comment are very welcome. Thank you.